Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I wanted to share with you something pretty cool that I figured out on accident. So, you know how you hear about a crystal charged water where there's special water bottles where you can put different crystals in it like amethyst, shungite, some of your other stones. See, I don't really like to put crystals in my water. Maybe shungite, but other ones not so much, because there could be things in them, like aluminum, where I don't know if I really want that in my drinking water, or at least maybe I could do a little more research and maybe it could be something plausible. However, I do like to place my water and my coffee near certain crystals to absorb its energy that way without having you know, elements in my water that maybe I don't want there. So, a friend gifted me these really beautiful agate coasters. This, uh, it's a purple agate slice. And, you know, so one day I was drinking coffee, this is many years ago, and for some reason it felt like that coffee hit better than usual. And I thought, you know, maybe it's from the agate. So now I've noticed the pattern when I don't use one of the coasters. Yeah, the coffee still works, but it seems like it does its job a lot more intensely when I've got it on an agate slice coaster. I know that sounds pretty weird. Um, and if you have an agate at home or, you know, that's a crystal that you're interested in buying, it's pretty common. I don't think it's really all that expensive. You can have pieces of it close to your coffee or even your water. It doesn't have to be coffee. I'm sure whatever it is that you're drinking, it'll give it a little bit of a boost. So if you didn't already know, you know, agate comes in tons of different varieties, many, many colors, many different varieties. It's found in a lot of different places of the world. And if you didn't know, so the stone carnelian that usually comes in a beautiful oranges to red types of colors, that's actually a form of agate. So when you hear about red agate, that's the same thing as carnelian. And if you're familiar with uh, black onyx, onyx is a form of agate. And some uh, black onyxes, you can see the banding in it. I don't have any to show you. With this carnelian, there's not really a lot of obvious banding on it, but you can see that slight little hint of it in there. Um, there's, you know, this is a variety of agate. Shame on me, unfortunately. I can't think of the specific type of agate this is, but what you'll see in most agate is banding, where you see those stripes. And this, I f these two stones I found on the beach myself. These are also agate, and it's in its raw form, and it's, you know, it's unpolished. This is what they call cold water agate. It can be found in a lot of areas of the Great Lakes. I found these on the shores of Lake Michigan. And this is a raw form of purple passion agate. You can't really see the purple in it. It's not cut. It's not polished. As far as energy goes, sometimes your raw crystals that may not be as noticeable aesthetically because it's in its raw form. I feel like the energy from those can be more intense. This was gifted to me by another one of my best friends. Uh, we went to a crystal shop together and she got, you can buy it in bulk in its rough form. She got about a pound of it and gave me a couple pieces out of there, which was really cool. Um, so that is pretty much a... So I'll talk about the energy of agate uh, to go into a little bit more detail about what its properties are and what it can do for you. Also, I'm wearing a necklace with a smaller agate slice gifted to me by another friend. None of them knew how much I liked agate. Several different friends, like three different friends, have gifted me agate, so I guess the universe must know that I needed it, and it sent friends to be drawn to it to gift them to me. Oh, this one looks like I should get this for her. Um, so what it does is, so agate is very protective. It's also extremely energizing. It's really underrated. You don't hear people talking about agate that much um, when you're watching 
you know, videos about crystals and, you know, anything metaphysical, you don't really hear a lot about it. And I'm kind of surprised because once you work with it, it's like, wow, I'm kind of shocked that nobody talks about it as much. So it's really energizing. It's very protective if you surround yourself with it. I like to put it in all the different corners of my home. Um, there's one towards the front entryway. There's one on the... I try not to actually put it in the bedroom because it's so energetic and uplifting. You don't really want that in an area where you're trying to sleep. Um, it's protective like a lot of black crystals are, but it's not so heavy. Onyx can feel kind of heavy even though it's a form of agate, but all your other varieties of agate, like carnelian, it's very... It's associated with the sacral chakra. It's very energizing. It can bring out your creativity. And it's also very protective at the same time. It's a good one to wear as a necklace or in your pocket somewhere near, you know, your stomach area. It's a good one to use at work because it keeps your energy levels up and also keeps you in that protective bubble so when stressful situations happen, it's still going to annoy you, but you don't absorb it as much. Well, so that's a... Uh... My take on agate charged coffee, I've never heard of anyone else using that idea before. Um, it's just something that I kind of stumbled across by accident that I thought might be useful to share with all of you. And if you don't drink coffee, you can use it with whatever beverage of choice. <laughs> well, I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you for watching.